Hi. Where's your shirt? And I almost fell in. Uh-oh. We're not going to keep it in the water, though. No. Okay, okay. Freaking barnacles. Yes. <laughs> barnacles. Barnacles. <laughs> Last time on Sailing Music and Lyrics. <laughs> this sailing thing is really easy. <laughs> this is what it's all about, right here. Oh, I'm making electricity while I'm sailing. Uh, I'm, I'm on shift right now and I am, I'm dying. Uh, I say it figuratively. I wanna show you what's going on here. Um, here's the deal, we lost our main cell. There you go. When we rounded Cape Henry into the Chesapeake Bay, conditions changed. Our videos are not just for us to look back on later, they're for you. And if you enjoy them and want to see more, join the band on Patreon. After the four day sail up the Gulf Stream, around Cape Hatteras, and into the Chesapeake Bay, the storm we were racing to beat hit. But that didn't stop the epic party that ensued. Only this photo of Rodney passed out survived the evening. A good time was had by all. Getting music and lyrics ready for offshore sailing and living aboard required a lot of work, and the jobs were piling up. Tools and boat parts were stowed in the oddest of areas, and I don't think anyone knew what was stored under the sink. Sparky was adjusting to boat life also. And just when you think you've got one item checked off the list. So I cleaned up one mess and I made another big one. But all that set to area, sorry, all that set to area underneath empty. There's not a, a thing in there. Not even, well, there might be a piece of dust, but I've vacuumed it out. Um, the bar. That's cleaned out. So empty, empty, empty. Even this one right here is empty because he hasn't had dinner and he's already peed and pooped. Empty. And all of this stuff was in there. So parts of it, extra parts and stuff, which is totally awesome. Uh, diver's flag and all kinds of stuff. Let's turn around because you can see me in that mirror. Uh, mattress right here from the bed. This is the forward cabin on the port side and it's falling <laughs> obviously I'm not as thin as I thought I was without going completely ballistic and putting too much weight in here and more importantly in here I've got a, an air conditioning unit down in here blower just the blower portion of it but down in here I've got enough space that I can put those some of those parts in there but I want to put a, a divider and some type of light maybe maybe plastic shelving or something so ideas would be awesome but yeah i've got plenty of room up here in this area and i mean if you look down there there's really nothing there's there's not even a floor to to flatten it out so light things can go in there uh, things that will not get used often at all but that's where i'm looking to store some of this some of these parts hopefully i won't need them <laughs> hopefully i won't need them on a regular basis that would kind of suck if i needed parts all the time so yeah that's where we are so far and we're rocking it out i'll show you the the parts that are on the other side this is actually our the, the owner's cabin and I have to go through all of this. I've gone through a, a lot of this so I know what's in here. But as you can see, these are all parts and pieces for the electronics aboard this boat. And there are so many things. And don't let the fact that this is Raymarine box for you because it, it's all other stuff. This is a, a soldering 
iron in here. Um, just there's so much stuff here, and all of this is going to come out. So uh, basically, it's all going to come out and going to go into that area over there. I uh, will condense it, move things around. Some stuff will go in that bunk, and other things are going to go in that hall closet. Well, I got the downstairs cleaned out, and I showed you this before. These are all done. That's the step, so that's not coming out. I'm gonna go home and grab a shower. I think uh, I think I deserve a shower and a drink. Go uh, give Lisa a big old kiss right in the forehead. Boom! She loves that. <sighs> Another good day. One day closer to moving aboard. Another morning. Heading back to the boat. Today, I gotta go up the mast. While we were coming here, coming up the Atlantic from Fort Lauderdale, uh, Cape Canaveral, however you wanna look at that. Um, I came from Fort Lauderdale. Uh, the topping lift gave way chafed right through. Um, I need to go up and see how that is attached up there. I'm going to take a, the line down and then I'm going to come back down. I'm also going to look and see if I can put a spare halyard up there. I don't know if there's enough room. That's. I really hope there is. I don't want this to ever happen again. If something like this happens, I'd like to have a, a spare halyard up there to uh, remedy that situation immediately without having to take the main halyard in pretty much scrubbing any use of the main whatsoever so what I've done these came like this whipped at the end with a loop and I've whipped this end not quite as strong but I'm gonna wire these together and then put some tape on it and I'm just gonna pull it through the whole system that way I can move this line all the way to the top Topping lift. So I'm just doing one thing at a time here. I think it's already starting to stick. There. Now that I've got this through, I can take that off. Basically backwards. And then we're going to pull it all the way through. Make sure there's a stop knot on the end. Well, good morning here. Uh, this is day five uh, from having the boat brought back up from Florida. And today's project is cleaning out underneath the sink. So let's see what we're gonna find here. Oh. Miracle cleansing erasers. <laughs> Eric's gonna love that. <laughs> Random deck brush underneath the sink. That's always helpful. Just a couple of drinking glasses. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> mystery. I'm throwing the mystery stuff out. I, I don't know how Eric's going to feel about that, but I am doing it. More magic erasers. use unless rinse a lot. Okay, well, we'll leave that for Eric. I don't think we want that. <laughs> Dudes, I don't know if you can see this. There's hair all over it. Yeah, you know, there's nothing actually wrong with this. This is one of those, you stick it on the end of Probably something like this. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Super scrubby. Disgusting scrubby. 
garbage disposal cleaner and deodorizer. You know, that would be really, really great to have at home. There's no garbage disposal here. I don't get it. Okay, I've got everything out now. That's actually the easy part. Next step is for me to really scrub that down with uh, some good cleaner, get it dry, make sure I don't run into a cockroach while I'm in there, decide what I'm gonna keep, how I'm gonna keep it, put it back. That is this morning's project. Okay, after scrubbing, and by the way, I found no little poppy seeds down there. I think you all know what I'm talking about with poppy seeds. And I got rid of all of the empties and I put, uh, you know, I combined things like, I had two things of vinegar. I combined them into one um, without losing any. Uh, this is now my very, very clean under sink area. Feeling pretty happy. Lots of space still. Making a queen size bed on a boat is a great way to get exercise. Strengthening arm muscles, butt muscles, and general core. Bending this way and that way, burning calories and sweating out the toxins. I highly recommend this. And bonus points if your boat has three or more beds to make. At the end of the day, after cleaning from top to bottom, every nook and cranny, organizing and inventorying every part of her, there's nothing more satisfying than having a quiet moment to reflect on the accomplishments of the day while petting your dog. Hey guys, thank you for watching this episode of Sailing Music and Lyrics. As you can tell, Lisa's not with me. She's uh, off in California on some business and some much needed sister time. I uh, hope she's having a great time and I love you, sweetie. Um, we kind of wanted to show you a little bit of what it's like to, to get a catamaran prepared for offshore sailing um, without getting into too much weird detail and stuff. But there's some things that you know, I wanted you guys to see. There's, there's things whenever you buy a new boat that, that become important to the new owner. Uh, these are things that were important to us and hopefully you guys uh, you enjoy these these kinds of things I won't bore you with it so much in the next episode, but we're gonna we're gonna keep going through uh, What it takes to what it, what it took us to get our boat ready um, So why don't you come along and and, and, and check us out next week uh, or next episode? Uh, hopefully it's next week. I am now that we're in the States and my fingers a little bit better um, I can punch out some of these episodes a little bit faster So if you like this video make sure you give it that big thumbs up. We, we you don't know how much that helps and you know please please subscribe to the channel and if if you're feeling like you know you want to please head on over to patreon and join the band thank you guys so much